So the personalization piece and our role as being the voice of the customer. Do we think therefore that that means we should be playing a bigger role in GDPR business strategy? We should definitely be playing a bigger role in GDPR strategy. I look at my organisation today, marketing is a key component of that. There's so many different areas that we focus on, but ultimately at the end of the day, that's feeding into how product is designed, it's feeding into the way we're communicating out to our customers, and it's feeding into how we're providing that post-customer care service as well. So marketing should be a key element of everything that takes place, and perhaps even driving that forward to what we're seeing in organisations today. Okay. And Liz, what about the internal piece, so where we take employees on this journey? Within which department? Within GDPR, all employees. I think it is dangerous to expect a marketing leader to lead an internal engagement programme around data compliance, because I'm really excited about data compliance, said no one ever. And I think a CMO has got a lot already to worry about. I think in the first wave, you know, in the next few weeks, if you haven't done it already, um, it is a job for um, legal, maybe operations, um, to get people aware and uh, appraised of their basic, um, of what's changing mm -hmm. and what's going to happen now. I think um, your point is, uh, uh, um, I couldn't agree more about in the, you know, the longer term, once we pass the first hurdle and everything's okay and we've ticked the boxes, then absolutely where GDPR comes into place is in product design, much more than it is in customer communications, in my view. And that is where marketing should be operating. If you're not, if you're a marketing leader and you're not in the conversation about what your product is, then you're not leading marketing, in my view. Yeah. But right now in many organisations, we should be looking across functional and collaborative groups coming together. Legal plays a part of that, product plays a part of that, marketing plays a part, but you do need that cross-functional group. Legal's coming out with the terms of how you communicate it, but ultimately marketing's providing those mechanisms to be able to go out there and communicate that too. Yeah, because kind of, if we leave it to legal, they'll protect us, they'll probably ensure that those fines are not happening, but I'm not sure whether they're the best people who will be able to tell us how best to make the most of this, right? So, and, and hence somewhere I feel that marketing's role really is important in, in, in this because if we are sort of the customer custodians, right, then how this will come in and impact our organization's behavior towards that end customer is somewhere where we can build the bridge better than probably legal because they'll ensure the CEO is kept out of jail or a hefty fine, uh, but how do we actually make the most of it? So. But there's two parts of GDPR today. It's how we, each of our organisations and the roles that we play are compliant from a GDPR perspective and how we help our customers be compliant as well, especially on the B2B side. And that's where marketing plays a different role and legal plays a different role in that as well.